wananchi watukufu wa Kenya majirani wetu wageni watukufu kutoka Ulaya judge mkuu mkurugenzi wa mashtaka ya umma mkurugenzi wa upelezezi wa jinai kama iko hapa mkuu wa polisi waziri wa ndani na judge mkuu na wasalimu hamjambo hamjambo tena najua kuna wengi ya msikini ninachosema your excellency ambassador simon modu i was greeting the people of kenya our neighbors and our visitors from abroad as well as our distinguished guest when i arrived here in the morning it come with a, a big bound document quite elaborate so that I could critique what my learned friend uh, Mr. Nordin Haji, the Director of Public Prosecution, has done for the last two years. But uh, this being a territory that is quite unfamiliar with me, the Honorable Director of Public Prosecution, together with the Inspector General of the Police, accosted me and told me, look, have you going not to serve in a civil process or criminal process here? Tutaruhusu wewe kusafu sisi makaratasi yote. Tualiba said they are the biggest client of the Director of Public Prosecution. If Tualib and the Inspector General of the Police are the biggest clients, then uh, uh, my friend uh, Tualib, as well as the Inspector General of the Police, we are the biggest referral center for the lawyers because you give us the biggest number of clients. Often in this exercise, there will be an opportunity for us to criticize you, but there will also be an opportunity for us to praise you whenever you do a good job. And this is one opportunity for us, as the Law Society of Kenya, to praise the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution for the great milestone that you have undertaken to come up with guidelines, case management, in order to determine the decision to prosecute, in order to determine the progression of the cases you present in court. Once upon a time, a story will be told. We have sent a signal to the investigating officer in Garissa. We are yet to receive a response. Yona, I do not have the police file. These are tales that are no longer told in court nowadays because with an elaborate system to enable the director of public prosecution make an appropriate decision to charge, take charge of his case, we're able to progress in court and make good use of the criminal justice system to ensure that those who are brought before a court of law are given what, in the words of Justice Kuloba, is a square meal. And indeed, a square meal is what every suspect is entitled to. A square meal is what every victim is entitled to. No wonder, therefore, today you have a square meal. And the square meal often starts with you, Inspector General of Police, because you commence the investigations, often on your own or sometimes upon directions from the director of public prosecution. There are times when the cases relate to economic crimes, when the square meal will start with my friend here, Twalib. The square meal will often land on your table, my friend uh, Nurdin Haji. It is your responsibility to ensure that the square meal is well served when it lands before the table of my Lord, the Chief Justice. Because when the square meals lands on the table of my Lord, the Chief Justice, we will be there to eat the meal. We'll be there to determine whether there is sufficient salt. We'll be there to see if the meal is well cooked. It is for that reason, therefore, that the responsibility upon your shoulder is an enormous responsibility. Before the promulgation of the 2010 Constitution, 
The decision to charge was so nebulous that no one understood really what was happening. But with your office now currently anchored under the Constitution, with a clear framework on what you're supposed to do, we are delighted to say that you've taken the responsibility which many with such a enormous powers will not want to take. There are institutions here which five years, 10 years, and many years to come have not put in place guidelines to enable them to exercise their discretion. My learned friend and senior Kilukumi spoke about public interest and what public interest entails. He spoke elaborately on the reason as to why public interest should never be confused with that which entertains or interests the public. I will give you another analogy. He whosoever has to make a decision in the public interest is like one riding a wild horse. Because public interest, if equated to that which interests the public, is bound to confuse the decision maker. No wonder, therefore, for you to make a decision that is not whimsical, that is not erratic, that is not oppressive, it is incumbent that we have guidelines. May I take this opportunity to thank the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution. There are many players who took a fundamental role in ensuring that we have these guidelines. I will not have the opportunity of mentioning all of you because I had mentioned all of you in my 30-page speech, which has been confiscated by law enforcement officers. <laughs> but be guaranteed that all of you, state and non-state actors, have played a fundamental role. As the Law Society, I'm proudly associated with this noble initiative that is being launched today. May I specifically mention my council member, Herin Kabita, who worked hand in hand with the Office of the Attorney General in coming up with these guidelines. May you flourish. My friend, uh, the Director of Public Prosecution, yours is a difficult job, I don't envy you. But nonetheless, I know you are up to the task. And those who work with the Director of Public Prosecution, my learned friend and senior Dorcas Udwar, my colleagues, uh, Ndimu, my colleagues uh, Natome, my colleagues Mutuku, please enable the director of public prosecution perform his duty. We are here, we'll always be there, we'll ensure that the scales balance. For every popular prosecution, there will be an unpopular suspect. Often you will see me representing that unpopular suspect. Just understand that we're just performing our duty for the scales of justice to balance. God bless you. God bless the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution. Thank you so much.